Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's see if we are live. And in we are. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to the live stream. Today, today is October 18th, 2021. It's been over a week, I think, since we did our last live stream. Sort of slowed down on these live streams uh, for multiple reasons, at least for until the end of October, I believe, uh, maybe mid November. Uh, some changes taking place uh, within our community uh, where each of us individually based on our life choices and how we want to live this life have to do some maneuvers to make sure that we retain autonomy over our own bodies and that's the quick intro because we are uploading this to sensor tube okay um, until we start talking about things that we cannot upload to sensor tube and if that is the case we will announce that we are moving to the other streams and live stream will continue and if in the middle of the stream or at the beginning or towards the end cheryl how are you doing we end up uh, having to leave cut the stream or cut the video uh, because uh, we can't upload it to sensor tube you can find the remaining of the video the live stream the discussion on the Chute rumble and odyssey aside from that hello gang how are you doing free assange free assange free assange the truth the truth the truth hope you're doing well bakul data cheryl have you taken all your tomatoes in i took in all of my tomatoes and cut down all the tomato plants uh it's time to clean up the the patio intrepid how are you doing brother hey chicho how's it going things are going good sort of good they're going good like really um we are blessed we are blessed however centralized power is making life more difficult um for us and um it is extremely important that we do not succumb to bullies uh the bigger they are the harder you must stand uh, do not bend your knee and there is sacrifice to be made when you need to do that and we're dealing with that right now but stay true to thyself as the saying goes and we are staying true to ourselves okay uh, so that's how things are going but more on this uh, later right um, we'll let give everyone a little bit of time to roll in and uh, uh just a quick intro and uh i will announce the sensor to stuff again matt matt ps how are you doing it chicho hope you're doing well thanks <laughs> cheryl our weather only just started to turn oh really and the tomatoes uh left are all really really green yeah ours are green the the ones that were left were really green but i just wanted to clean up the place and i brought the green tomatoes inside and they're gonna turn red inside so that's okay so i may just yank them to move yeah we had no choice Our, ours weather turned a couple of weeks ago uh, so casanova frankenstein how are you doing yay chicho <laughs> How's life? Natsker01, first time chat viewer. Hi, finally caught you on live. Welcome, welcome to our chat. Glad to have you. Red Balson, first time chat viewer as well. Hello, hello, how are you doing? You're wise, Chicho. I, I, it's, it's the food I eat. <laughs> Check this out. I just made some pasta sauce this morning. Uh, it's still simmering a little bit. This has got onions. You got to eat well. Onions, um, thyme, basil, mint, um, ground beef. Uh, just regular ground beef because I want a little fat in there. It's fall. Uh, sweet potatoes, uh, pumpkin, uh, carrots, uh, tomatoes, our own homegrown tomatoes. A um, little bit of uh, dill. Uh, da, 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 a little bit of oregano uh, no tomato paste and our own sourdough bread my partner made and you can just dip it in there and uh, it's delicious i've already had a little bit right so here's here's sweet potato and ground beef and let's see if we can focus it it's super good it's fall fall food right it's fall food 
pretty good. Mm. And the sweet potatoes give it a nice sweet taste as well. Got some cherry liqueur from last year going on. <laughs> must feed the body and the spirit and the soul well and the mind if you're deciding to stand your ground right. <laughs> let's check it out oh lots of first time viewers hello everybody how are you doing green tomatoes are good for frying i find i haven't uh, done the fried green uh, uh tomatoes i gotta do them hedgy uk subscribe hedgy how are you doing First time you were, but wows. Hey, Chicho, I see you have a copy of Cavalier and Clay on your shelf. Would love to hear your thoughts on the book. Um, Michelle, uh, uh, Carbon is uh, uh, is general. Uh, Cavalier and Clay, let me find out. Wait, 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 where is Cavalier and Clay? Uh, I gotta look at the, <laughs> look at the cover. Oh, this one, uh, this, uh, Michelle, Co I haven't read it yet. I bought it because I wanna read it, but man, I <laughs> overwhelmed with um with uh with everything right now staying up to things and personally personal life doing things that we need to do right now um to make sure we uh, we remain as anti-fragile as possible based on uh what centralized power is rolling out but i will definitely definitely give you my opinion on this when i do get a chance to read it when I do get a chance to read it, I love uh, the theme of this book, which is basically talking about um, golden age of comics and uh, creators and stuff. You can correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Schwaz. I, have, I bought it like a few months ago, like a year ago or so. Okay. Deep Flake, how are you doing? Casa Nova, Frankenstein, Chicho. I've always wanted to know where did you get the nickname? It's, it's a it's a nickname I picked up in the nineties, eighties and nineties. It's two two names brought together, merging. We did fusion, right? And I've been going by Chicho online since the late nineteen nineties. I used to play Star Wars uh, Night Night of Republic or whatever what was it called. I can't remember. Uh, online as Chicho in the late nineteen nineties. Um, it was super fun. <laughs> oh, oh, not open world, but rooms. Um, capture the flag and free for all and all that jazz. Ding, Bob, how are you doing? Have I missed uh, Twitch notifications or has it been like two weeks since the stream? It's been about 10 days. It's been a while, uh, Ding, Bob. I wouldn't say two weeks. It's been a week. We did one in the patio. Uh, okay. Sleep waves, Chicho. How are you doing, Sleepy waves? Welcome, welcome. How is life? Oh, wow. There's a lot of chat. Okay. I'm scrolling and scrolling. I always thought uh, fried green tomatoes, Cheryl says, were a green variety rather than unripened. Does anyone know for sure? I think it's supposed to be unripened. I've never done. I've never done. Yes. You, you'd be veg uh, vegetarian. No, but I've reduced my meat intake for sure. Hedgy. It has begun. It has begun. <laughs> I really love to see my nice. I am. Uh, I am too. Thank you. I'm going to listen to this in the background. I'm uh, typing up a research report on Ethereum uh, right now for a job application. Awesome. Awesome. MC Mike. Very nice. Very nice. I'd love to hear your take on Monero, by the way. Okay. Yo, it's Master Roshi. Master Bater. How are you doing? Uh, you definitely look like Master Roshi. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Uh, it's my favorite book absolutely magical is it your favorite book really absolutely magical this is your favorite book man nice 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 i at one point i planned on having a read through it or started start reading it this summer but i didn't get a chance right um i think it would be amazing as a summer read if uh if the mind can clear uh, but i'll i'll keep that in mind man smith the man the legend how are you doing 
Felix Bristol, how is it going? How did you show? I can't stay for long, but due to the title of the stream, I thought I'd drop by and say hello. Thank you for dropping by, Felix. And uh, I'll have this uploaded uh, on at least Bitchute Rumble and Odyssey in full. Uh, and it'll be available on Twitch for a couple of weeks anyway. So you can definitely catch up. Uh, Zinc, Zinzu, Zinzu. Ha, that's amazing. You played the um, Night of the. I, I think that's what it was called, right? Night of the the Old Republic. Night of the Old Republic, wasn't it? <laughs> I can't remember the name. I still have the CD. <laughs> It is about the magic of comics and imagination on the backdrop of the Holocaust and great evil, a rich exploration of the human condition. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I would love to read it. I basically, I think this and uh, Will Eisner's A Life Force. Where's my Will Eisner's? I, it might be in another bookshelf. Yeah, I don't have Will Eisner's uh, like I must be here. No, no, it's on the other bookshelf. Uh -huh. But I highly recommend, gang, if you've never re read Will Eisner, I'm assuming, uh, I don't know if it, it covers real comic book creators or not, tell you the truth. Uh, but Will Eisner's Life Force comes out of that period. So does Jack Kirby and all that. Like the golden age of comics was a magical period, as is now. Okay. What do I usually talk about? Masturbator. We talk about everything. We go everywhere. I, I would even, at some point, I'm going to show you how to make pasta, right? We read comic books. Uh, we talk about life. We talk about economics. We talk about comic books and a lot. We talk about current events. With sourdough bread. Super delicious. MC Mike Chicho, I will be doing a separate report on Monero. Nice. I'm a big fan of it. I got the t shirt to prove it. Haha, <laughs> awesome, awesome. Chicho, MC Mike, Monero is a very promising coin. I bought it at 200 and it's going pretty good. I see a lot of potential. Not sure if there are similar coins offering. Uh, same price. There are a couple, I think. Ronnie, how are you doing? How's life? Hope you're doing well. I got it. Did I get it right? Uh, Zenzu. Zenzu. Pond. Pond dogs and pie. Pond dogs and pie. Pond, dog. Pond dogs and pie. Is that true? Pond dogs and pie? Always bring snacks to Chicho's stream. Otherwise, you'll keep seeing food on the screen. And then the spring off to the kitchen. <laughs> Oh, funny, funny, funny. The P the epigraph in uh, Cavalier and Clay is a Will Eisner quote. Is it? No shit, dude. Uh, you're um, because I I remember uh, like I know why I bought it. Right, it got me all when I read on it, read up on it. It got me all excited, so I ordered it right away. Right, but then. I lost the excitement over time a little bit because it's sitting on my bookshelf. You're kicking up the excitement level again. <laughs> Cheryl, I just looked it up. Couldn't help myself. And you're right. Um, pot, pond. I'm going to say pond. It's unripe. It is unripe. Yeah, okay, cool. Unripe green tomatoes. I've just been around too many and uh, ruby German greens this summer. Oh, the green uh, tomatoes. Yeah, I don't... That, I don't think I've ever had really. Grizzly, Grizzly Stacco, Joe Grizzly Stacco. Persian food is the best, Chicho. It is. I it really. It's 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 the variety is amazing, and oh yeah, this has got turmeric in it too. And Persians use a lot of turmeric. All right, turmeric is good for you. Anti anti-inflammatory. It should be the one of the staples. Seriously, gang, when you're cooking, use turmeric. Be careful because it stains, but turmeric should be one of the uh, key spices you use in food especially with meat okay especially with meat 
Hello, I'm a snake. How are you doing? Hey, Chicho, glad to see you on yet again, yet another stream. As always, I have a question uh, for you. Do you think DC and Marvel comics are dead now because of the sales for, uh, from them becoming almost non-existent due to, the, due to having their comics uh, politicized? Um, no, I don't think they're dead. I think, I think. Uh, DC's DC sales are down huge. They they're just doing the wrong damn thing all the time. God damn it! Right? <laughs> like seriously, what in the world are they thinking? They could at random pick ten DC or comic book aficionados from the online community and say, "You guys run DC Comics for five years, right?" And you will see DC Comics sales go through the roof because some amazing stories will be told that are relevant to our times, right? Except the, other than this, <laughs> like whatever you call it, Marvel Comics has been making good moves, but they're just doing they're doing the same crap as always, right? Just here, here, this worked great. Let's make ten copies of it across multiple platforms. And then just whoa, take over the shelves in comic books. So if you're if you're even enjoying a story in Marvel Comics, and you want it to be self-contained, it, it will not be self-contained because all of a sudden when you're reading it, you'll see certain characters pop up in a few panels or, or a few pages where something had happened in another comic book that totally unrelated to this. Not unrelated. That's the crossover that happened in another comic book with other characters that you don't give a rat's ass about and you know your characters going through it and talking about the events over there all of a sudden you have no idea what the hell is going on and then they continue on with the main story but that throws you off right it's like running sprints and having a misstep or running track and field and you do a misstep all of a sudden you lose your momentum you lose, you lose your oomph you lose your excitement so that's what marvel and dc are doing all right the best stories being told in comic books, especially in the last 10 years, have been in independent comics. Read independent comics, gang. If you want to read some of the greatest comic book stories ever told, they are not. In general, there are some. There are some. Marvel has put out some which are really good. Right? Yeah, Immortal Hulk. Uh, Venom was pretty good. I didn't read all of them. I read some, some issues, right? Um, uh, what else uh, so, some other ones as well right but in general bang for your buck independent comic books independent comic books ronnie life sucks really been stressed out with work because it's a busy season looking for escape well you're in a good place ronnie i hope so anyway gang i'm gonna scroll down and before i do don't forget free assange free assange free assange Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on SensorTube. Legendary Rob Boss, how are you doing? Chicho, are you excited for the new Batman? I saw the trailer, someone posted it on our Discord. Uh, what are your thoughts on the trailer? Um, what are my thoughts on the trailer? I didn't like the Catwoman look. Um, I think I like the Penguin look. I think, I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be Penguin. The Riddler looked intriguing. Um, Batman looked better than Batman, <laughs> like by leaps and bounds. <laughs> like, <laughs> huge, right? Um, so uh, I'm still holding off. Let's see how it, how it turns out right i was okay the new batman trailer looks incredible you think it looks incredible lonely piggy i, I i'm excited but concerned excited like because it's dc and like you can't get too excited for it because if you get too excited you know they're gonna disappoint or maybe they will disappoint right so i'm gonna i was i liked it i didn't like the catwoman look unless they do it better uh, the, I only watched it once, by the way. Maybe I'll like it on the second or third go. Eduardo Chicho, do you think Don Lemon 
is around I mean I don't know who Don Lemon is <laughs> Eduardo who's Don Lemon Joe Chicho what are your thoughts on this ridiculous diversity fo focus Lord of the Rings remake I don't even know what they're gonna do like what are they gonna do um, I don't like <laughs> if they if they get like i could i could imagine like just imagine the horrendous things they could do to one of the greatest stories ever told and i can think of them doing that right but my god what in their right mind would want them to do that other than obviously self brainwashing programming indoctrination blah, blah, blah. whatever you want to think about it right i'm going to assume they're not going to go that ridiculous it i hope i hope right i hope it's just a publicity stunt i don't know why they need it but what, whatever Z zenzu uh it seems like they're taking their same approach to modern films and applying it to the comics to, to a certain degree but they're doing it poorly they're doing it poorly i thought batman looked like uh, <laughs> i think that was the riddler with the teeth wasn't it wasn't that the riddler with the teeth that wasn't batman was it <laughs> edgy i am vengeance i saw that that was a good part that was pretty good lonely picky i like alfred's batman personality he was a mountain of muscles that you definitely didn't want to go up against in batman versus superman at least cool Sipu what do you what do you use to protect your anonymity online uh a bit i'm trying to do what i can to protect myself recently just got a doc doc go for sure <laughs> like, <laughs> if you are of right mind if you are on the internet and if you are searching for anything you got to be a real dumb dumb to use google 100 percent of the time you might use it you know one or two percent of the time just in case duck duck go or another independent private to a certain degree search engine doesn't f give you what you need right duck duck go is 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 it right for me uh so that for sure vpn you can use ad blocks plus here i'll do here uh ad blocks plus uh, da, 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 da. duck duck go privacy essentials we got uh da, 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 da. Um, <laughs> uh, TTS settings, right? You're you're using TTS. Uh, the, 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 what else I got? I got a few other things, right? Ghostly. You're using uh, no script. Uh, you're using certain things, right? And uh, your brains. You, you're cautious, right? You're cautious. I'm very surprised that DC hasn't used static shock yet in any film. I think they're they're going to. I think they're going to. <laughs> Bond. <laughs> Hoppers could be Bond. Uh, like, it, it could be. <laughs> could be. Hello, I'm going to say Chicho. Don Levin's an anchor from CNN who, along with Chris Como, shame people uh, publicly for not getting the COVID vaccine. Yeah, I don't, I don't watch CNN. <laughs> I consider anybody that even consumes even the slightest bit of cnn that takes it seriously must be deranged like a very confused human being right so the, i don't the, don lemon is he the is he the big guy the bald guy <laughs> and chris como that's the brother of uh the governor of new york wasn't it <laughs> i believe so who are these clowns <laughs> Why in the world would anyone want to want to listen to these clowns talking, right? Smith, wait, what's this about Lord of the Rings? I didn't hear about. They 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 plan on doing. Uh, I don't want to say woke Lord of the Rings. I hope not. <laughs> Joe Chicho, I guarantee what's going to happen is it's going to be terrible, and then when the narrative reviews come out they're going to blame race <laughs> just like dave chappelle right 
hilarious. The 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 paid off on on on. By the way, IMDb superior to Rotten Tomatoes by leaps and down. Rotten Tomatoes garbage, garbage, garbage. The the critic reviews that they have on there is a joke it's like it's like me directing a movie and me writing the review giving me 120 percent and paying a rotten tomato to put my review on there and average it out to my favor 10 to 1 <laughs> that's what user reviews is and then you watch the audience review <laughs> leaps and bounds right and then you watch the you know the dude that's uh, that funded the bad thing that was came out into the world that has effed up a lot of people. That documentary comes out, not documentary propaganda piece comes out. The user view is phenomenal. <laughs> the audience reviews is like two percent. <laughs> A salute, gang. And not that IMDb is 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 doesn't have its own flaws, but it's not as bad as Rotten Tomatoes. I think they're making a TV series. Padre. Padre, padre, padre. How are you doing? <laughs> I think they're making a TV series. It's not a movie. Spencer, man. Hey, Chicho. Hope you're doing well. Doing well, man. Thank you very much. Uh, Joe, Amazon making a TV show. Yeah, TV show. First time in chat. Badam Pal. Brave browser. Brave, brave is good, too. Brave is good too. Brave is good too. I use I look I I use <laughs> oh by the way decentralize your searches, right? Don't use just one search engine, right? Use multiple search engine. For me, for different things that I do, I use Brave, I use I use Brave, I use Oprah, I use Firefox, Mozilla, and every now and then I use a little bit of Chrome, right? Four different browsers, right? There's no remake. They're making a series based on uh, Second Age of Middle Earth. Is it Second Age of Middle Earth? So it's not the it's not the, uh, Bilbo and Frodo and stuff. Zenzu, bear in mind people that using DuckDuckGo inside of Chrome is counterproductive inside of chrome is counterproductive okay cool thank you for letting us know thank you for letting us know smith oh i'm down for that though i've uh, wanted the uh, silmaria lian for ages padre padre yeah that's cool as far as being diverse me it uh, seems like um that is a requirement these days to a certain degree i hope they don't screw it up uh, Cheryl, speaking of Google, any replacements for web-based services like Google Docs, Sheets, Notes, Draw, etc.? I keep hoping, but don't have taken, uh, haven't, haven't taken a deep dive. It would be great to kick those two. Um, yeah, I don't use, like, really, I don't use Google Docs, Sheets, Notes, anything. There's one that I use. I can't remember what it was. It was a spreadsheet. Uh, maybe I did use for the first one Google, Google spreadsheet. I can't remember, but but then I used something else, open source. And I'm with you, Cheryl. I, I, every time I have to use something, I have to look it up again to see what to use. First time chat viewer. Who is that supposed to be? Joe uh, Chicho. It's called the Lord of Rings, but it's actually based on the Silmarillion. Silmarillion cool which takes place before the Lord of Rings. oh it's before Lord of Rings I thought it was after cool Zarya how's it going what would a woke elf look like <laughs> really? no I'm not gonna say no, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say deep flake letterbox better than uh, both IMDB letter letterbox I haven't used it I haven't used it Better than I am beating a Rotten Tomatoes. Okay. I got to go into Letterbox, see what it is. Hello, I'm a snake. Chicho, I agree. They're all clowns. There have been protests in front of CNN, New York Times buildings to have the media defunded because of their propaganda. Yeah, I saw that as well. 
which is cool, which is where people should be hitting it hard. Boom, boom, boom. Right? Colin Powell gone. Hell is richer for it. Right? Eduardo Chicho. I saw him at that Jimmy Dory video when uh, Sanjay uh, Gupta uh, goes back to CNN to bend all over to uh, to CNN after being on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so he's the that guy is the black guy in CNN. That guy is God damn like whoa. That guy is that you know who that guy is. That guy is the guy that Malcolm X was talking uh, talking about. That guy is the guy. He said Malcolm X said, "Be careful. If you're not careful, the liberal media." will uh get you hating the oppressed and loving the oppressors okay that's who that guy is right be careful malcolm x would do nasty things to that guy <laughs> we need one browser will randomly select the search engine to use for every search haha <laughs> legendary rob boss that could be uh what do you call it uh that could be a little project for a coder right uh, it, uh, yeah it, the the, uh, the elves seem genderless enough already uh, yeah but they could do a lot more get your little earnings encyclopedia out chicho i know it's not here it's on the other bookshelf where my sci-fi fantasy stuff is uh, if it was here i'd pull it out right smith if you want privacy central tools go to privacy guides dotty dotty org uh, privacy uh guides dot org okay cool is open office mobile friendly now i don't know oh to be honest no idea never used it on mobile Ch -ch -ch. i'm scrolling down all the way down to the bottom da -da. first time in chat pause the one tron pause it pause tron i love this man from first time <laughs> thanks positron <laughs> what is he talking about everything and anything some pasta sauce too here's my pasta again i'm gonna take a spoonful it really is really good and then later on tonight i'm gonna cook up some pasta and eat it up i was gonna put some greens in there too but i didn't i put uh, squash in there not squash sorry zucchini zucchini and pumpkin oh come on focus look at the drip drips is it gonna focus it's not gonna focus Oh, don't lose the juices. We want to take that in. No, oh, 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 it's not doing it. It wants to go into Chicho. Hmm. Super good. Matthew Warren. And this week in the UK, an MP who was a uh, staunch supporter of the iraq war was murdered by a muslim i call that uh, call that even um i also heard that the same mp was against a lot of the things that are being rolled out in the uk in regards to freedom so he was pro freedom as well sure the, this mp was a war criminal if he supported the invasion of iraq right same as tony tony blair but I heard he was also in support of freedom for human rights, right? Self bodily autonomy, right? Uh, so who knows what's going on? Who knows what's going on? Who knows what's going on? Matty G, how are you doing? I need a stogie. We got to do a, a fall stogie session outside. Joe Chicho, the other day I was going through one of my drawer drawers and found a comic I bought years ago called Bone by Jeff Smith. Damn right. I don't think I've ever finished it, but I remember really enjoying it. Dude, this is this is the book you're talking about. Is it is it is it Bone by Jeff Smith? Gang, you got if you guys have never read Bone by Jeff Smith read it it came out in singles like single copy but this is the cheapest you can get it it's like uh um how much was it it's like 40 dollars us at the time it was 55 dollars canadian and i believe this is the first print of it so it's probably i don't know i don't know if the first prints worth more or whatnot uh, this came out in 2004 right it's a comp compilation and not a compilation it's the whole story 
right? So you can get it. It is absolutely amazing. I've read this thing twice, right? I've given this book as gifts to multiple people. I've had I've had one person read it three times. Okay. So this book is a must, must read. Must, must read. Okay. Absolute must. If you've never read it, read it, brother. Joe, I'll read it. It's amazing. It's amazing. Sleepy waves. Do you think starting a, a return on investment is that what we're talking about? Is a good move? Oh, uh, ROI. That's uh, some kind of fun thing in the United States. Yeah. I'm currently in my mid 20s and feel like personal finance for the future should be something I consider, especially when I started doing the math of compound interest versus letting inflation uh, burn my savings in my savings account. Yeah, savings account is pretty much useless right now to a certain degree. It's good to have cash to take advantage of stuff, but you can only do that if you're not being penalized for taking money out, if you have cash handy to take advantage of opportunities that pop up right away. Um, it's a tricky time, sleepy waves. It's a tricky time. It is insane out there right now. Really, it's insane. Uh, so lonely piggy any cooking strings planned for the near future uh not the near future lonely piggy i got some stuff to take care of um just to just to give everybody an update just to give everyone everyone an update and by the way just in case we talk about things that we can't talk about if you are watching this on sensor tube i don't know how long we're in right now we're in uh, 40 minutes into the stream right and this is the end of the stream you will find a remainder of the stream on bitshoot rumble or odyssey because we might be talking about things right now that we're not allowed to talk about on sensor tube actually hell yeah we, let me give you the lowdown lonely piggy of what's going on because my schedule sort of gone a little wacko right so gang on sensor tube my apologies uh this is the end of the live stream that you're able to see just as a, a you know outro for sensor tube you want to support this work i'm on patreon we are live streaming on twitch if you want to watch these full live streams live as they're happening participating in the chat twitch is where you want to be at i do announce these live streams on multiple platforms and the links will be in the description of this video the audio of this live stream will go on soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as a podcast and the podcast should be available on your favorite podcasting platform and you can come to our discord page and you can come to our chat anytime you want on twitch and type in exclamation mark discord and the discord invite link will pop up and you're welcome to come there and talk about whatever it is you want to talk about right aside from that gang uh, on sensor tube thank you for watching this on sensor tube my apologies but the sensors on sensor tube uh will not allow you to participate in these types of discussions you want to go into the grown-up world you want to go into bitshoot rumble or odyssey or watch our live streams on twitch and again if you want to support this work patreon is a great way to do so and you should support this work uh, because the centralized power has brought pressures on us uh financially that i've had to reduce the amount of content that i'm creating i'm about to talk about that right now okay so I'm going back to the chat and we'll see you guys on BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey if you're on Sensor 2. So let me take these guys down.